Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my final preparations for Final Fantasy XIV's next expansion, Dawn Trail. So in this video I'm going to go over 5 things that I forgot to mention from my previous videos. Starting off with scripts. So we get a new script color in the next expansion, which means that yellow gets removed, white gets discontinued, and purple becomes the new white, and then purple gets replaced with the new color. Meaning that everything in the script exchange gets reduced down to purple. That includes old materia, current materia, all this stuff here will be purple until we get level 100 in the categories, including gear as well. So all this is going to be changed to purple. Now, the amount of scripts for each might get reduced, they might not, but we'll find out in Dawn Trail. That goes for crafters and gatherers. So for purple scripts, you're going to be making the rarefied Sukhan Barbara which you should stock up on at least two weeks before the early release. So you need palm sugar, milk, gelatin, and the Sukhan. Gather bone alpus, got in the crystarium, buy colored gemstones, and crafted with the palm syrup. You need six to make three. And you need fire and water crystals, which you can use my guide to get those. So the macro that I use for this is Reflect, Manipulation, Waste Not 2, Innovation, 4 Prep Touches, Biregots, Veneration, and 3 Crown Works. No good or excellence are required, and this can be done with the script set or the indicator melded. And then in Dawn Trail, when we get level 100, you guys can easily just do Trained Eye and then a couple of Crown Works to make this faster. But that decision is up to you. And this should be around 30 seconds. So you guys should be able to make two within a minute. So make sure you prep those recipes at least two weeks before the expansion. And try to empty out your retainers to house all those items. Next is the Enobisios gear. This is either the Savage or Normal versions. They cannot be turned into the Grand Company, nor can they be desynthesized. Not until the next expansion. So you need two tokens for the head, hands, and feet, four for the body and legs, and one for the accessories. So for me, I have 38 accessories. I got 13 for the feet. I got 16 for the legs. 10 for the hands, 17 for the body, and I have 13 tokens for the head. Now obviously when you do these raids, make sure that everyone leaves before you roll on the loot, so you have a better chance of getting it, and if somebody wants it, then you guys are going to have to have the best roll to get this, but when you're doing your normal raid roulette, do not pass on these tokens. This will give you a nice chunk of Grand Country Seals come Dawn Trail, or if you're trying to desynthesize it for a nice chunk of experience toward your desynthesis skill. So make sure that you guys do your normal raid roulette every time or just queue in to the raids itself. Also, try to get the gear from the last 24 man raid as well. Same concept, they can't be desynthesized or turned in at the current moment. So hold on to those going into Dawn Trail. Because God knows what they're gonna add in to the Grand Company because they might add more lock boxes from the Shutterbringers and Endwalker and you definitely want to grab those if those become available. Next let's talk about spirit bonding. First thing you have is the superior spirit bond potions which gives you plus six gain, high quality and plus five normal quality. If you do not have a free company or access to free company actions, your next best bet is going for the squadron manuals. At level 50 you have the void scent elimination that gives you 10. This gives you plus 3 for 120 minutes. Same effect as a free company action. Or at level 40, supply line dis disruption for 5. You must have the required attributes, which will be stated to the right. And if you have those, it will change your current attributes to a light blue. Red means you don't have enough. And you have these at least once per week. So you only get to choose one. And if you're doing level 50, 
you'll have a higher amount of stats that you need. So if you do not have all of them lit up, it's going to be RNG. And of course you need to use Grand Company Seals to send them on their missions. So this unlocks after a second lieutenant rank is achieved. And of course you have the challenge log unlocked in Limsa Lamensa's Adventures Guild. Up to the challenge, I think is the quest. As for the Spearbound Potions and Shadowbringers, you need Highland Spring Water, Purple Carrots, Wolf Fangs, which can be sparse on the market board, and Garden Beats. Best place to get the Wolf Fangs is Cawthorn Central Highlands. So make sure you have a crap ton of these made, three per craft. Get those manuals if you're not in a free company, but if you are in a free company, go to the OIC Quartermaster to get the actions, which I'll show you guys right now. So talk to your OIC Quartermaster, actions, and then come look for which binds us to. To get grade three, you have to do that through your free company workshop, which I actually made a video. It's an old video, but it still holds out to get grade three. But this will be for 24 hours. So the next thing is better crown pies. Now in order to get those, you must get these items here. Any of them works just fine. I go with duck bones because that's what I use for kill making. So I have 2,947. You can use the Alexander trick to get all your Grand Company seals. All right, so let's head over to Mordona and I'll show you guys who to exchange these two to get those better crown pies. So in Mordona, talk to Guiding Star with a level 50 or higher manual tool to unlock Talon. Assorted, you need these items here for one better crown pie, but it gives you plus two or one moonstone from the Ixels or treasure maps if you're lucky to get them. Those gives you plus two, potions plus six, manuals plus three. Combined with all of that, and of course, over melding your gear, your spirit bond will go up through the roof. Battle jobs, I believe, spirit bond the slowest, followed by crafters and then gatherers. So, tombstone and augmented crafted set cannot be over melded. Crafting and gatherer gear can be over melded, so those will obviously spirit bond faster, because more materia, the more you gain. Battle jobs can only be spirit bonded by defeating the final boss of a dungeon. I think fates also work, and of course 24 man and 8 man raids also will spirit bond your gear. And you can tell if they are by checking your grid. If these turn white, that means they're ready. If you want to unlock spirit bonding, if you haven't done it yet, right here at the bonfire with Mutamix, you need a any job will do to get spirit bonding. I think that's called extraction which you can find here. Okay, that's everything you guys need to know in order to spear bond your gear. Next, Blue Mage, and this is pretty simple. We're most likely gonna get a level 90 increase and of course, new spells. We have 124 as of current. We're most likely gonna get Endwalker spells. And if you wanna wait until you get to level 90 and when the Blue Mage craze is back up, you guys can fill up your spell book that you have not completed previously. And at level 90, you probably can go back and solo some of the dungeons and fights that get the spells easy peasy. But remember, it's 100% drop rate synced and it's RNG unsynced. But make sure your Blue Mage is at least level 80, waiting for the update and Dawn Trail. Last but not least, the Synthesis. Must unlock at least one job at level 30 to unlock the Synthesis. Then everybody must be level 30 in order to desynthesize anything in their category. Clonarian is fish. Alchemist, Carpenter have the worst loot table. Blacksmith, Armorer, Goldsmith, Leatherwork, and Reaver are the easiest because a lot of their category items drop from dungeons and the like. For Alchemist, once you get through a certain threshold, use your Tombstone of Poetics to get weapons from the previous expansion, or you can craft the script ones the books and of course lower their quality making them normal instead of collectibles that way you guys can desynthesize those since they have one less material needed with collectibles now if you want to catch up wait until dawn trail and de desynthesize those items then you guys can breeze through and walker the other use for desynthesis is of course when you're doing streams they will drop their weapons you can desynthesize those to get their personal drops, which ends up becoming an item that you need to craft their glamour weapons. 
Sia, Sacrifice, and Diamond are the only ones that are missing, and then they'll start doing and Walker. The other thing that they ultimately are used for is when you're doing the crafted stuff, these items here, like Grip Gel, uh, Mutable Solution, can drop from Desynthesis instead of getting them through scripts. So there is another use for Desynthesis. And if you're doing a Rumor Born fish, some fish will actually drop Glamour as well. But it's also good to get uh, rare materials as well instead of crafting them through the tombstones. So these synthesis does have their usefulness outside of just getting crystals and clusters. But that is all of the things that I forgot to mention in my previous videos. So until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to support my channel even further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter, YouTube member, or support me on Ko-Fi. Links in the description down below. And a huge thank you to all my YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and Ko-Fi members. And a huge extra thank you to the members on screen. So until next time, be free for walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.